My first in to sort of inspire my interest in marine science was snorkeling with my dad. We saw a small cuttlefish swim in front of us and it inked right there and I thought that, that was the coolest thing ever. The first time I put a mask on my face as a kid and I realized you could actually see things underwater, I was just blown away. When I was little, I saw a lot of documentaries by Jacques Cousteau, and I remember thinking that whales were so big and yet so vulnerable to humans. I wanted to do something about it. The New England Aquarium inspired me because I came here as a young child and I was walking into an underwater garden. I've always had a passion for nature and, and animals. The oceans are under threat. We are about transforming our science into impact. As humans, I feel like it's our responsibility to safeguard the health of our natural resources and our planet. The Anderson Cabot Center for Ocean Life is a really unique place to make change in our oceans. I've done a lot of work on the North Atlantic right whale, and this has been a strong collaboration within the center here, both with the right whale team that does a lot of photo identification and has been working with the right whale for nearly 40 years. I'm working with the industry and with the state regulators and the federal regulators on wind energy areas to try to determine if in fact the installation of those things will have any effects on the marine environment. We are a fairly neutral party with strong scientific chops, and that makes a difference. We're doing the fundamental science to understand the problems, because if you don't understand the problems, you can't solve the problems. Especially with climate change, that's a big part of, of our research. We know the temperature is going to continue to rise for the foreseeable future, so it's, it's a matter of trying to figure out which species are going to be most impacted by those changes. And that's the kind of work that the center allows us to do. You have to have a scientific home and some place that allows you to keep going beyond just a one or two year grant and do more long term studies. We're using our, our front yard here in the Gulf of Maine, which is the body of water that's warming faster than any other in the world, is a living lab. It's a really powerful model in that we can solve locally and scale so those impacts are global. We funded 140 projects in more than 40 countries around the world, across six continents. The program is having an impact on conservation leaders around the world and their ability to be positive agents of change for the ocean. Working with industry and environmental groups, all the stakeholders, is in our DNA. That's the only way you get long-term success in conservation efforts. We really are at the precipice of change to be able to move the science that's been happening here to solve problems into the future. One of the things I'm most excited about with the Anderson Cabot Center for Ocean Life is that we're going to lead with science and the facts will take us to the right place. Both Ed and I love the ocean. I find it not only beautiful but spiritually uplifting and it means really the world to both of us. My goal is to inspire our team to do great work, but also inspire others to join us in this search to try to protect the oceans.